major concerns about the virus on the eve of the opening ceremony for the Olympics in Tokyo. The new number tonight, more than 90 people inside the bubble now infected with the virus. And what will be different about that opening ceremony? James Longman again tonight from Tokyo. Tonight, with the opening ceremony a day away, our first glimpse of some of the stars of these extraordinary games. Masks on for the women's gymnastics team arriving for practice. And for a brief moment, COVID forgotten as Simone Biles defies gravity in her much-anticipated all-round routine. But with concerns about COVID, USA Gymnastics confirming to ABC News that they have moved out of the Olympic Village and into a hotel. At least 91 people are now positive inside the Olympic bubble, 10 of them athletes. Across Tokyo, the number's rising, once again reaching a six-month high with nearly 2,000 new cases a day. And First Lady Jill Biden has arrived in Tokyo for her first solo international trip. One of just 950 dignitaries and officials at the 68,000 seat stadium to watch the opening ceremony. And James Longman live from Tokyo tonight. James, this opening ceremony in the midst of a pandemic, what differences will we see? Well, David, we know of the 950 guests, only about 150 or so will be Japanese, everyone wearing masks. And we know technology will be used to try to replicate a normal experience, but this will very much be a made-for-TV event. David? And you'll be right there for us. James Longman again tonight. Thank you, James. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.